Guys, guys, two questions. First question is, are you following us on Instagram? If not, second question, do you know that our merch is live? Our first merch launch is live on the website right now. Shopmoderndiesel.com. First launch is limited and it's super nice stuff. So check it out. What a beautiful day in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. 59 degrees, we have sun, we have no wind, and we have a dirty car wash. So what I'm doing right now is I gotta go get some change. When I was setting this camera up, I dropped a couple quarters in the bed. But another question. Did you guys know that you can Allison swap your Cummins? Oh my God, guys, huge mistake. Okay, I had this window down to just film that clip that you just seen, and then I left it down, went and got changed, just put the change in, started washing the truck, and it was all pressured because of the time clock. So uh, I got around to the side, I'm washing the mirror off, spraying off the mud, and I realized that this window is completely down. Check out in here. Oh my, what an idiot. Soaked. So now I'm going to use my FR shirt, dry it off, look at that, real nice. I can't stand those car washes. You know the ones where you gotta put the quarters in and you got your time clock and then you're pressured because the time's gonna run out. You gotta still spray your truck off. There's still mud underneath. I literally only go to those to spray the heavy mud off, especially that one because they have a mud designated bay, which is nice. I pull in, put a couple coins in, spray off the heavy mud, take it home, finish the wash. Um, but yeah, you seen how that went. Real nice. And the reason I was spraying off the heavy mud is because me and my brother-in-law went shooting the other day and I uh, got a little mud on the truck. 444 Marlin, let her rip. Yeah, that was fun, wasn't it? But anyways guys, a, about an hour has passed since I last talked to you. Um, took a grill back. My parents were nice enough to get me and my wife a new grill for Christmas. But in fact, I chose to go with a bigger grill. Got something in my eye. Okay, so did you guys know that you can Allison swap your Cummins? So if you have a Ram 2500, 3500, and you have the god-awful 68 RFE transmission, you can do a Allison 1000 transmission swap. Now, yes, some of you might say, oh, that kid's been around for a while, you know, but I have recently just discovered on the line, on the line meaning on Instagram, that Suncoast, everyone knows Suncoast transmissions, very good transmissions, they have came up with a kit, a Allison Swap kit for your Ram 2500 or 3500, basically to get rid of the 68 RFE. Now, Speaking in terms of the 68 RFE, I have experience with those transmissions. Uh, I've swapped several of them. I had one in my previous truck, 2015 Ram 3500 automatic with the 68 RFE. Um, now let me tell you really quick, those transmissions are totally fine under stock power. Stock power, you can get a ton of miles out of them, you'll have zero issues. But as soon as you add power, meaning tune the truck, delete it, do anything like that, 
you are going to have a situation on your hands. I'll try to look for a video right here. Of my brother-in-law and his Ram 3500 doing one burnout with a tuned Cummins with the 68 RFE. Smoked the transmission. Smoked it. Oh my god, we're gonna get a hurricane in here. We literally just had clear blue skies and now it is raining with 60 mile an hour sideways wind gusts. What is going on Pittsburgh? Okay, so anyways, on the real note, I called up the guys at Suncoast because I was curious on the whole Suncoast Allison swap for the Cummins because if I would have known about this before, nah, I'd take that back, probably wouldn't. I probably would have still traded that truck in on this truck, yeah, yeah. But yes, I called Suncoast up to see what the deal was with this Allison swap on your Cummins. Um, so basically, it is a complete kit. It is a 100% start to finish complete kit. Everything inside the truck, meaning all of your electronics, your uh, tap to shift on your shift lever, your gear selector, everything inside of the truck will remain OEM factory. Of course, the transmission will be swapped and all of that electrical and the sensors and the whole thing is Suncoast's own kit to make sure everything works properly. Um, but you can get in a Cummins Allison swap truck, drive it down the road, and have no idea other than feeling how good it shifts. Now, an Allison 6 speed transmission will shift, according to them, a whole lot better than the 68 RFE. So basically, what the transmission is in your Rams, if you're running that transmission, it is a upgraded, a little beefier Dodge Caravan transmission. Now, Dodge Caravan meaning minivan so basically all the guys out there and me previously before i had this truck driving around with 68 rfe transmission you're driving around with a slightly upgraded minivan transmission now why would ram do that they would put that transmission behind their legendary cummins engine that is a question that probably so many people are wondering but I truly think that this is your this is your answer. You know, you could do a 47 swap or a 48 swap, but those are not really ideal for like let's say towing or daily driving. You know, they're quick shift deals. If you want to have like a drag racing truck, then you might want to put one of those in. Now, you can get a built 68 RFE, but by the time you have all that money adjusting and changing what needs to be adjusted in the 68 RFE, you can just spend a little bit more and get the whole Allison swap that will probably last you the lifetime of the truck. Your stock OE Allison isn't all that good. You know, you start adding a lot of power to that transmission, you're gonna have some slippage. But a built Allison is very, very good. You can have those built up to 1400 wheel horsepower with a warranty, with a warranty from Suncoast. So guys, what is the price tag on this whole kit you may ask? Well, you know, you are getting a legendary transmission onto a legendary engine, so be prepared to put a hurt on your wallet it will only set you back a nice 18,000 bucks. Now, if you ask me, there will be a little bit of sticker shock coming from that price tag. But if you look at the 68 RFE and how many times you may get that rebuilt, say your warranty runs out and you get a built 68 RFE, then you have transmission slippage. Then you gotta pay to get it rebuilt again. So over the lifetime, it's like what, what do you, it's like, what do you do? Do you put all the money in the beginning and are done with it or do you keep putting money into, say, the 68 RFE. And by no means, this is not a sponsored video. I did not work any type of deal with Suncoast. I am just interested in it and decided to shed some light on it for you guys out there, the viewers, um, just because I think it's pretty cool. I think that's an awesome deal. Um, I have seen several other Allison swaps, but I was never really interested in them. I think ATS has a, has a kit. Um, I'm not exactly sure who else has a Allison swap kit for the Cummins, but I've always followed Suncoast and I've always contemplated on getting one of their built 68 RFEs for my Cummins in the past. Um, I just never pulled the trigger on it because it's it's pretty expensive, I'm not gonna lie. I mean, by the time you get into a built 68 RFE from Suncoast with a torque converter, you're looking probably somewhere in the ballpark nine, 10,000. So whenever I discovered that on Instagram, it really caught my eye and I decided to investigate it a little bit and tell you guys about it. Go check out Suncoast Instagram they have a couple pictures on there of the Allison swap um, it is not listed on their website but like I said a full Allison swap turnkey drive your truck in drive your truck out from Suncoast you're looking at a slight 18,000 
Guys, it is already done raining. Weird weather. But I am super interested in that. I would love to do something like that in the future. You know, get some kind of a Cummins and do an Allison swap, um, preferably with a 68 RFE so we can get rid of that and do the Allison swap. But yeah, comment your thoughts below on what you think of the Allison swap Cummins. But guys, first link in the description, check out the Modern Diesel merch. Super, super cool. Hoodies, hats, shirts. Um, you guys are definitely going to love it. The quality is awesome. The hoodies fit excellent. And the shirts also fit very, very nice. Um, get yourself some merch. First launch. Limited supplies. Make it happen. And follow us on Instagram. Second link in description. It's the Modern Diesel page. And we showcase, we basically find and showcase the sickest diesel trucks on the gram. Um, and just to give more promotion to the owners and to spread information about the diesels remember diesels are not just trucks they are a community and also a lifestyle and we are all about it so follow us on instagram and check out our merch but that is it guys i am just rambling i am getting ready to head to the house um the weather kind of stopped raining so maybe i'll finish washing the truck i got all the heavy mud off you guys seen that nightmare um but stay tuned for some more videos coming your way i will catch you guys on the next one peace Running through it with the young influence, had a lesson presses, I'm succumbing to it. I've been giving yeses when I shouldn't do it. I complete ejected, but the moves are elusive and I'm barely moving. But I'm still gonna boost them. I can't work on winners when I know you're losing. So I work the winners and they throw the deuces. Guess I have to pivot, shooting no bazookas for the facts. I need racks, paper, cash, fuck a